Hello friends, this video on fractions part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. A pizza was given to two friends, Rohan and Amit. And they divided the pizza into eight equal slices. And then Rohan had two slices out of those eight slices. So basically Rohan had two eighth of the pizza and Amit had one slice of that Pizza. That is, Amit had one eighth of the pizza. Now, both of them are very much interested to know that what fraction of the pizza did they eat together? So, together, how much did they eat? So, Rohan ate two eighth, Amit ate one eighth. But in order to find out how much did they eat together, we actually need to add two by eight and one by eight. So, in this section, we are going to learn about addition and subtraction of fractions. So first let us deal with addition of fractions and in that also we will first take up simpler ones that is the like fractions. So how do we add like fractions? So how do we add like fractions? Again, whenever we deal with like fractions with same denominators, things are pretty simple. So all we need to do is retain the denominator. Let's take a let us suppose these are the two like fractions that you have. Let's say 3 by 5 and 16 by 5. So these are the two like fractions which, are, which needs to be added. So what we do, we retain the denominator. So the denominator in the result is also going to be the same which is 5. And then what we do, we just add the numerators. So 3 plus 16. So 3 plus 16 is 19 by 5. So 19 by 5 is the sum of these two fractions. Let's take one more example, 13 by 101 plus 5 by 101. So how do we add these two? So denominator remains the same, add the numerator. So 13 plus 5 is 18 divided by 101. So in this fashion, we can add the like fractions. Now what about subtraction of like fractions? That is also going to be on the same lines. So in this case also you retain the denominator, but this time you subtract the numerators. So let's take example, 3 by 5 minus 1 by 5. So you retain the denominator and you subtract the numerator. So this would be 2 by 5. Similarly, 13 by 101 minus 5 by 101 will be equal to 13 minus 5 divided by 101, which is equal to 8 by 101. So it's pretty simple, right? So as I said, the like fractions are pretty simple to handle. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.